Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 4-45 from R.C. Hippaler Engineering Statics Corp. Edition. According to this problem, the pipe assembly is subjected to the 80 Newton force. We have to determine the moment of this force about point A. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to recall that the moment is the cross product of the moment arm and the force vector. So we have to express the force F in terms of partition vector form. First of all, I have to draw the projection of force F on the xy plane. So it could look something like this. Let me label this. So this right here is F posterity. Now we have to resolve this projection along x and the y axis. So this is the component along the y axis and that is the component along the x axis. So this right here is f cos 30 into cos 40 and this is f cos 30 into sin 40. We also have a component in the negative z axis. So this right here is f sin 30. So force f in terms of partition vector form becomes f cos 30 into sin 40 and f is 80 newtons. So 80 cos 30 into sin 40 i. plus f cos 30 into cos 40 and f is 80 newtons so 80 cos 30 into cos 40 j minus f sin 30 so 80 sin 30 k So upon simplification, we would have 44.53i plus 53.07j minus 40k. Now we have to find the moment arm which is the position vector RAC. So this is the position vector RAC from the point A about which we have to calculate the moment to the point lying on the line of action of force F which is the point C. So this is the position vector RAC. So we need the coordinates of point A and C. So the coordinates of point A are 0, 0, 0 millimeters and the coordinates of point C are 300 plus 250 millimeters in the positive x axis, so 550 millimeters, and it is 400 millimeters in the positive y axis, so 400, and it is 200 millimeters in the negative z axis, so negative 200 millimeters. So for the position vector RAC, we have to subtract the coordinates of point C from the coordinates of point A. So we have 550i plus 400j minus 200k. And we also know that the above equation can also be written as a determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. So we have ijk and the components of RAC, so 550i, 400j minus 200k and the components of force F, so we have 44.53, 53.07 minus 40. Now we have to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. 
and that will be our movement about point A in terms of Cartesian vector form. To find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix, I am going to expand it by row 1. So expanding by row 1. I believe that you are familiar with the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. So we have M A is equals to I and the determinant of neglect these elements and only consider these four. So 400 minus 200, 53.07 minus 40 minus j non neglect these components and only consider these four 44.53 minus 200 minus 40 plus k non neglect these elements and only consider these four so 550 44.53, 400, and 53.07. Now we have to find the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix for the i, j, and k components of movement vector. So for a review, if you have a determinant of 2 by 2, let's say the elements are a, b, c, and d. The determinant would be AD minus BC. We have I AD minus BC. So we have 400 into negative 40. Minus minus 200 into 53.07 minus J AD minus BC. So we have 550 into negative 40 minus minus 200 into 44.53. Plus K. Again, AD minus BC. So we have 550 into 53.07 minus 400 into 44.53. Upon simplification, MA comes out to be negative 5386i plus 13094j plus 11376.5k in newtons millimeter and if you want to you can convert it into the newtons meter by dividing the values by 1000 so in that case you would have negative 5.386i plus 13.094j plus 11.3765k and that would be the answer in newton's meter so this is our answer so this is it for this problem I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the determinant of 3x3 three three matrix, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.